We have never seen something like that before. That's the scariest thing that we've ever seen. Wait, back up one second. If my ability is to be the greatest, then there's no option but to be greatest. You should see our faces watching that in bump. I mean, we're in awe. And the Spurs, they have a lot to look forward to this season, and rightfully so. 12-time All-Star Chris Paul joining the reigning Rookie of the Year, Victor Wembanyama in San Antonio. Remember, the Spurs only won 22 games last season, but expectations are high. And the ESPN bet odds are, too. They have their win total at 36 and a half. That's good news for Spurs fans because we know that winning follows Chris Paul everywhere he goes. And it shows up immediately. Every team Paul has joined in his career has improved their win percentage in the first year over the previous season. But the question, Bobby, is how much better will Wemby be when CP3 is on the floor? Well, they're going to be competing for a playing spot. I, I think, that, as we said before, to, to play competitive games when we get into March, he makes everybody better. Even when you looked at that one stat where he was in Oklahoma City, that was post-Paul George. And that Thunder team made it to the playoffs in the bubble here. So I'm looking forward to Chris Paul, not just the influence on Victor, Devin Vassell, who's yeah. injured right now, Keldon Johnson, Jeremy Sohan, Harrison Barnes' impact here. But he will make – he's going to put Victor in the – I don't want to say MVP conversation right now, but certainly in that all-NBA conversation because his stats are certainly going to take a, a big step here. Cheney, what's that one thing you're looking for when those two take the floor together? No nonsense. Every possession counts. I have been able to uh, hang out with Chris Paul a couple times during the offseason, and that man is about his business, and that mindset meshes so well with Victor Webinyama. This young man wants to take not just the league. We saw in the Olympics, he wants to take the world by storm, and I believe that that is going to be, I mean, the identity of Chris Paul's mindset as a point guard, who's a little bit undersized, but very unselfish, known for his assists, but just his ferocious competitiveness to me, only good things are going to come from that. But that right there, yeah. the lob, this is the guy who helped invent Lob City, now has a guy who says, I was born to do things differently. To me, it's a match made in heaven. Yeah, that pick and roll is going to be really interesting to watch, Perk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. And look, anytime you're able to get a point guard on your team, one of the greatest point guards to ever touch the floor, it's a blessing for your young franchise guy, right? And I look at CP3, like I do with Ray John Rondo, right? And that's him not only bringing, a, being a floor general on the floor, but if you think about what Rondo brought to the table on his, towards his, the end of his journey, when he was in New Orleans, he taught Anthony Davis and Drew Holiday how to win. He went to Sacramento, he taught DeMarcus Cousins with a winning mentality and how to be a leader. He helped Anthony Davis so much that Anthony Davis wanted them on the Lakers and he helped the Lakers towards the end of his career win the championship. CP3 has that same effect, right? Mm. When you talk about a guy that's a true professional, that's going to know how to carry himself day in and day out and not shortcut anything, that's what Victor needs. That's what he's going to get. Yeah, and Victor wants to win. Chris Paul is about making that winning impact for them immediately, even if you said, as you said, Bobby, that is getting them into the play-in tournament. That is a far cry, a huge step from where they were last season.